Yeah. Hello, sorry, Vision. We've already fucking started. You're like, what the fuck, Scammer? Yeah. Well, no, sorry, because I, 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 I breast start and I, I breast start sort of just like subco- not subconsciously. You know, when you do something without really meaning to do it? Yeah. So I press start and away we went. Uh, but it's the entertainment news, and again, with Ozzy Ozzy Oz back, he's uh, my mum's giving us some treats. So last time he's been here, we've had no treats in the house. Now there is, his eyes are. Firmly locked on a different spot, but it's the entertainment news. We got some shenanigans and news and news and shenanigans. What the fuck was that noise? Was that her? Was that, was that her? I was, that was him. It was my mum. It was yawning. I was a yawn. Uh, I've been fucking mega tired in this heat, mate. Is that him again? It's probably, probably what to say. He can have as fucking many as he wants, Chris, but it's your dog. I don't want to overfeed him. I'll happily stop sniffing my dick. What is it with dogs and other people's? Then when they meet each other, like, oh my god, you're a boy, let's smell your balls. It's fucking mental, but it's funny. Yeah, yeah, here's the entertainment news with me and Chris and Ozzy. Awesome. Awesome. Ah, oh, I'm waiting for a lovely cup of joe all day. Hello, my gorgeous boy. Yeah. Visuals, oh, I don't think any of you have... Oh, no, James and that would have seen him before. Anyone else who's seen him might not have seen Ozzy. I don't think. I'm not sure. I don't know, I have to the picture. It depends who listens to these that follows, because he's all in your stuff, isn't he? Yeah. So it depends. I'm not sure. No. He's a very gorgeous boy, so I see him. He's very, very gorgeous. I might send you a picture and you can put him in. Send me a picture and then I'll, I'll put him up and be like, hey, everybody, this is Ozzy. This is my fat head. This is the, um, the mascot. We had a racist German. She wasn't even racist. She probably never realised. Now we've got a... Uh, a <laughs> no, that's a, that's a fresh title. You don't want to lick. Uh, that's uh, we, what what will we call you? Um, like he's not dumb because he's smart, but you know he's like dope. Like you know, dopey dogs. Like you said, he was fucking doing weird backflips off walls and he shit. He does. He's fucking doing lolly. He's up his weed. Yeah, we'll find something weird to describe you as. Your long haired, long haired, long eared free. Oh fuck! Love a long. I love fucking ear on a dog. It's one of my like. If I had a top fifty favorite things in life, it'd be like number twenty seven. Long ears on dogs. <laughs> It's just mint, like you just yeah, got to him, just got to him like that. I'll play with his ears, I don't know. Oh, I, mate, see, obviously, I don't, does he, when you're chilling watching a film, does he sleep next to you? Yeah. Like, chilling, yeah, I would just sit there and just... He'll, he'll jump on the sofa, he'll sit there, and then he just flops on me, and I'm like, oh, you fat fat. But he's just doing that to my mum, he's just people palming and went, give me heels. Yeah. He stretches, he kicks you in the face and all that stuff. I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> Oh, no, he's mental. But no, no, entertainment news. What's been going down, Chris? What's new? What's happening in the hood? What's what's the ghetto vibes saying? The ghetto vibes have uh, they've been busy this week. Oh. Uh, oh. I've got a funny feeling you, you're going to get another animal looking at this cage. No, that's B, uh, B got that not lot well, not got that a while ago when she had the praying mantises to like oh. she wanted to put a divide down the middle, put one in one half and one in the other. So they had like handle, bigger inclusion. So you can turn it into your bait box now. Well, if it's, up to, if it's up, to, up to me, mate, it'll be another little mini Middle Earth. And it's got to do with me. He's stuck off. Right. Oh, I think... I would, mate, I would love to leave the door open. Mum would just shout random things in, pal. <laughs> right, kicking off with Netflix. Yeah, ha ha ha. Netflix has... Give us a season three update on sex education. Ah, which I feel like that should have been like ages ago as well. Yeah, like obviously COVID, put everything back. Mm-hmm. Uh, but season three comes out September 17th. Oh, what were you in? Nearly in August ish, mm-hmm. roughly. So I just. Oh, okay. Alright, okay. So I'm say six, say six weeks. And then it'll be another one you can smash the whole lot, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I like sex education. I like sex education. I thought it was quite funny. That's that. That is all that. Right, moving on to... Disney. Moving on. Uh, moving on. Uh. Moving on to Disney. Kevin Fage mm-hmm. has been talking to people, as he does. Yes. And he, he's, he's came up with an idea. He doesn't, we don't know how it's going to go. Right. Or not, what not, what not, what not, what not. But he wants a Red Guardians and Captain America a fight off. A fight? Well, as in Chris mm. Evans, Captain America? No. As in the Falcon? Mm. Well, yeah. Sam Wilson, Captain America? Yeah. Oh, 
Who wants them to fight? Mm. So he wants Red Guardian to potentially be a buddy. Mm. Or it'd be hard to take him as a buddy at the minute because of how we seen how he was like in Black Widow. Yeah. But I mean, I, I don't get it wrong. I would still love to see that face off. It'd be fucking hilarious because obviously the Red Guardian has the advantage of being superhuman or super strength and shit like that. Uh, but I don't know the Falcon would whip his ass eventually. Obviously, it'd have to be a sequel because obviously, obviously Sam Wilson now. Yeah, who yeah. we know is getting Captain America 4. Mm. Um, but that guy needs to lose weight before he can do it. Yeah, he, a little bit out of shape. The, yes. the, the suit was was a bit tight. If, yes. you've, if you've seen Black Widow visuals, he's a bit of a chunky boy. He is a bit of a chunky boy. Um, it's a face of an opposite love to see on the, on the big screen, without a shadow of a doubt. But I just asked how it how went. Unless they... I don't know, unless something happens for him to like lose his mind or... So, I don't fucking know because, like I said, he he was a, he was a goodie. He went off with the the um, other Black Widows that were that you know snapped out of their control. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah, it's Kevin Feige. I'm sure if this does actually eventually happen, it will uh, it will be well thought out and stuff. I'm sure it will. Be. It will be fun as well. Um, go back to Netflix. Um, Fear Street News. I haven't done. Oh. Third one yet. I was going to do it last night, but obviously uh, tired with work. I was literally going to bring it up as well because um, for the yeah, I've got it for the thumbnails. I was going to say what you think of the trilogy. I haven't looked, but I'll watch it tonight. Well, do you want to give your your thoughts and opinions on the first two then? I I really enjoyed them. Sick, you never really delved into it too much last week, but yeah. you you've been really enjoying I've, them. I've really enjoyed them. Yeah. A lot of people say, why are they doing it in reverse? It doesn't make sense. Well, it does. <sighs> It does make sense. Yes, yes, it doesn't matter. This because you obviously get the origin story in the first one, and then obviously you jump back, and then you jump back again. So it kind of does make sense. Oh, it makes sense because the way it's done, you yeah. just you're just learning it backwards. You've basically got, and to be honest, no, because obviously I won't spoil it because you haven't seen the third one. Um, you do get a hell of a lot more explanations, and there is a nice twisty twist and whatnot. Mm. Uh, have you got any theories and opinions how it might play out without me giving you yes or no's? No, apart from you've said that all of them are back in as different characters, that's yeah. all I've got. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing we're going to go down the, the witch route. Um, what do you call her? I don't really call yeah, her. Yeah, I've just, well, I've not just, but I've watched the third one. So I'm guessing we're going to see the origin of how she became, how she became, and then yeah. started doing well, like I curses said, on everybody. It's um yeah the, the third one was all right for me it was my least favorite uh, I purely liked the first one because it was more speculation and yeah. more mystery and all and I have a big because what is the third it's the eighties isn't it the first one is it nine that's no, the nineties first one is in ninety four yeah ninety four um I, I love them sort of weird mm. things set back in like I like Stranger Things you know being set in the whatever that is eighties or whatever I love that kind of yeah. vibe I I did enjoy the third part three was cool I enjoyed being at camp with it all. Uh, and I like that each film, obviously, this isn't the spoiler, but each film sort of tackles a new one of these resurrected ex-murderer people thingies. Yeah. But obviously, have you noticed the flies as well? Every time somebody's about to get possessed, there's a fly. Fly buzzing around. <laughs> no. The first guy you see, you fly, you know, in the in the mall, fly lands on his neck, with the character turns out to be murdered. The second one at the camp, fly buzzing around the guy, he turns out to be the ex-murderer guy. So every time the flies pop up, you know, shit's oh, going to go down. A fly. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm not saying no, don't worry. It wasn't, it wasn't a fly. Don't worry, mate. It didn't turn out to be a, a the fly, which is a weird-ass film it anyway. It is a weird-ass film. Digesting burgers and just to eat them and go, eh, uh, But no, I mean, it was good. It was a nice trilogy. Uh, and I believe, don't, don't what was he? I could be completely wrong. Uh, it's just because i seen somebody put up an Easter egg up of the books in the bookshop uh, that these films are based on. So there must be books. Of, that these are based on. I'm guessing so. Yeah, it's just what I've read, 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 read a little bit of. It's and I think to actually you not know, to lie, I think I can confirm. It. I'm sure at the end of it, it's just based on the books. Why? Anyway, yeah, this, uh, if there's more books, there might be more. Because well, what, what is your news on it? The, my news on it is that Netflix wants to make a Fear Street into a horror MCU, so bring a lot more. Oh, all right, okay. Into it and stuff like that. Which is what kind of they were going to do with the Dark Universe stuff, yeah. with the Mummy and stuff. Yes. But does it mean bringing stuff like from other franchises? It doesn't say, so quite possibly. Do I just want to expand it? So I don't know what they mean by that. Well, if it's a case of there are loads of these books, then that might be fucking nice and easy, I don't mm. know. I mean, I would be up for more. I wouldn't be disappointed. I like the fact that we had three films. Watch. 
So like, like that they're an easy watch. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's why I, I can't go away and say oh, I hate that film yeah. shit. But uh, yeah, I'm like, it's fine. Yeah. I, I would take more. Do I enjoy the first two? Like, what's the second one? I have a Netflix subscription. I might as well get my money's worth. Yes, I'm saying. I don't mind if it's out Sky though. Uh, I, I, I don't like it. Man, buy. I get my Now TV for free because of Xbox Live. And I get my Disney Plus cheaper because of my O2 account. I I'll yeah. start paying for it again. Have you? Because of my sister. Because obviously I give um, my sister my account so I least yeah. can watch it. And when she got a new phone, she got six months free or four two. There you are. See, so, I've got, I've got, I, it's not free or anything. It's a constant Disney subscription, but I pay four ninety nine for Disney hmm. as opposed to whatever it is. Yeah. Oh shit, I forgot. I'm paying for mine again. Because it's 7 dollars now, after all. So it is 7 dollars To be honest, mate, completely fucking worth it, it's amazing. Oh, yes. Uh, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> after last week's discussions about Clarkson's farm, about the little kind Yeah, of I've, seen, I've seen these pictures because I was so confused when you said it. It's like, how can that be cancelled? But every fuck is talking about it. It's now been confirmed that they're going so to do did it. Did it say why they temporarily cancelled it? No. But they realised that everyone was wanting it, and so... That's what I mean, every De- Tom, Dick and Harry, just regular people, the people that you don't give a fuck about farming, yeah. uh, people at my work were watching it and loving it. Um, that's why when you say it's like, I don't know. That's for somebody who hasn't watched it. Thinking. Nobody knew why they were cancelling it. Uh, this yeah. family was just trying to do with money. To I, I imagine maybe there's a lot of money involved. But it's Jeff Bezos, man. He's sending himself to fucking space or has sent himself. I think it might have been yesterday. When did Jeff Bezos go into space? Wednesday. Was it Wednesday? The guy's got fucking money to pay Jeremy Clarkson to fucking make some fucking... Vegetables. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gone very, it's happening. Season two. Loving it. Loving it. I wonder if Jeff Bezos Loving watched it. it himself. Maybe. Well, he can. I don't know if he's in space. Yeah. Oh, no, because it came out before he went to space. True. Maybe then. Maybe, when it, maybe it was his pre watch program before he went to space. I'm going space. I'll watch Jeremy Clarkson <laughs> try and do some farming. Yeah. Are you enjoying that smelly ass foot, mate? Yeah. Right. District 9. Ah. Oh. Got the kid food. I need the kid food. Exactly. Oh, I, look at I enjoyed food. District 9. Yeah, it was so good. Fucking loved it. District 10. Now, we spoke about District 10 fucking yeah. ages ago. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was going to say, I'm sure we heard shit years ago. Ages ago. And it is in development, and they are doing it. They have started putting things together. And the route they're going to go down this week, it's a t- apparently it's a topic to do with American history. They haven't said what exactly. Wait. So it's not a continuation of the aliens? It is. Um, there's, there's, there was going to be a... No, put it there. It, there's a, yeah, right, okay. An American history yeah. that fits in with District 9, somehow. Like segregation shit, because obviously the aliens were segregated, weren't they, into their own little mm. bits. People could go in and assault them shit and whatnot. So maybe it's always about about with um, American history when like black people and stuff were all segregated, maybe. Maybe. And like, so it might be the aliens trying to come into normal society, but people are being—I don't know if you can call it racist, but we're being are being racist. But it's about the merging the aliens with our life. But it is continuing from District Nine. So I wonder if we see because it was changing history wasn't it? involved in. It Which is well. weird because it's set in South Africa, isn't it? Yes. Um, uh, the guy that the, the lead role's fucking mint. He's so funny. Yes. He's absolutely class. He's the one that directed it as well, wasn't he? Is he? I can't remember, mate. I just remember, like I said, he turned to the alien at the end, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Cause, did he get out of a fight with one and get scratched? He started throwing. Whatever it was, because he started going, but the cat food. Just the, the aliens, for whatever reason, they loved the cat food. <laughs> fucking <laughs> mint, mate. Mm-hmm. Loving it. Right, this one. Oof. This is a biggie. Oof. Gets my willy tingle in this one. Oh, gets your willy tingle in this. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Right. It's early news, nothing yet. Mm-hmm. But it's just a picture of Lucifer and a picture of the Supernatural Boys. Oh, okay. The Winchesters. What, like an actual real picture or a fan made thing? No, 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 no. The, the Lucifer's leaning on the Winchester's car. And right. Dean hates people touching his car. Oh, okay. So. so and it just says that um, 
something will be coming soon. So do you reckon that might have something to do with the spin-off? Quite possibly. Did you, is it it was, the, where did he get his car from? Because oh, he he's had that from day one. So he got it from his dad. He got passed down from his dad. Ah, so there you go. So it might it might involve his dad facing with. We because we are getting a Winchester film uh, series as well, which is going to be based on his dad. And yeah, so it might be that. Lucifer bumping into his dad, and they had a few dealings with each other. Because mm. how long is Lucifer supposed to have been on our planet in that in that show? Is he bit? Is he been down on Earth for years, or is he? Well, he's part of the he's part of the DCU fucking that right, universe sit, yeah. crack, isn't he? So he's on Earth two, I think. What I've right. remembered of going off. John Constantine and it only just popped up on something of the day that's why I know that's another, that's another <laughs> one that, yeah they should have they should have Constantine come up and be up again I'm not I'm never not against him but like because obviously we're kind of friends but kind of enemies at well, the same time it was like wasn't it? it was like you owe me a favour don't you yeah and I uh, think he's like oh, alright but obviously John Constantine being one of the few people on the earth that's just not scared of demons and shit just yeah. doesn't give a fuck he would happily go to like mm-hmm. the, the, the devil and yeah. do whatever he's where like. Sam and Dean they hunt yeah but obviously would they hunt him though because well, he's well this is the thing you kind of need to watch Lucifer to figure out because he because he's good though isn't he is the, the devil show. in the show but he's also good but there's also a twist towards the end of last season which mm-hmm. we'll get in this season in the new final season yeah what did I see a clip of? I don't know if this is an old clip from the series where it was him versus himself. It was his twin brother, ah. Mike, Michael. Is that from an old season? No, season five. Oh, was it? Yeah. I just seen him versus him and I was like, oh, Chris watches that. I was like, I don't know if that's old news or... Yeah. Michael, it's his twin brother. And is, what, is that supposed to be real? Is this the, is Satan supposed to have a, a brother in the Bible or is they well, just made up for the show? I don't know, I don't read the Bible, so I don't know. As far as I'm aware, he, it's, it was just him, because he obviously fell there's, from there's, heaven. Um, Samuel, who is his brother. Um, oh, he's got a few brothers in the show. Mm. Oh. Samuel, Sam, 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 Samuel. Does he have to fight them? No, it's not Samuel. He fights one of his other brothers, I can't remember his fucking name now. Fuck me, I'm with him, is there? It's a few. Um, obviously there's Michael, yeah. which is the evil, this is more of a dickhead one. Um... God, who's his father. Oh, in the show, God's his dad? Yeah. Oh. Um, are they all banished? Are they all demons? No, no. He, he's the demon. They're all, the rest are all angels in heaven. Oh, even the evil one? Yeah. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Mm. Oh, a bit harsh. You should let him back up. Well, all the crack with the it, devil is being it the, in is it the same? Is yeah. it the same crack in the Bible then? He got pushed out of heaven because he was a little shit? Kind of. Yeah, yes. oh, oh, right. Kind of, So yes. it was a little shit up in he heaven. Got kicked, his mother told him to go and they kicked him out of heaven to save his life because he did something and his father was going to banish him. But they said no. Just His mother said no. Don't kill him. Don't Who the fuck's him. his mother to be? Um, mother Nature. So God and Mother Nature did it to make Satan? Mm-hmm. They, they kicked him out of heaven. Shit. Sent him to hell. So... She could save his life by not killing him. See, before there was a hell, where did the spirits go that were bad? Obviously, it's all... I don't believe any of it's real anyway, but we're just playing hypothetical here. So, because obviously, there was, if there was a heaven first, and I assume some shit happened before Satan got chucked out. So where the fuck... They all just sit and chill in limbo. Possibly. There's, there's a... Hmm. There's also a place called No Man's Land, isn't there? Where it's well, that's like that, an empty space. That's Limbo, isn't it? Mm. We did, we played that game in Limbo, didn't we? I like Limbo. Yeah, Limbo was quite good. The the achievement to to do it the whole game. I played the second one as well. Uh, I played the second one, but well, because like I said, I've got, I've got all the achievements. What was it twelve? Because one Spin of them. Off, by the way. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry. No, yes, you supernatural and Lucifer fans. It looks like you might potentially have a uh, crossover on. Um, uh, a max level um, because of what Chris has just said. Yeah, um, th- you do the game without have a minimum of three deaths and Jesus Christ, yeah. it took me fucking forever. Right. So I, I needed a, a long ass break. Mm-hmm. I'm just waiting for the for Man Eater DLC, mate. It's a government conspiracy on a weird ass island doing mental shit. They've got laser cannons against a shark and I'm like, oh my God. Laser cannons against did you did you watch the trailer? No. Oh, because the you know, realize there was the DLC coming out for it. Yeah, um, you know the guy that does the voiceover, uh, Jerry from Rick and Morty. Because mm-hmm. uh, obviously you've watched Jack play, it, haven't you? Well, I don't know if you can remember much. The voiceover guy, he's been kicked off his reality show thing, and he's gone pure conspiratorial about this weird island that's appeared, and 
government experiments and shit and uh, they're the ones causing like the sharks and that to get bigger and they've made some bigger and meaner monsters and the the oceans deeper and shit so you might be up against like an orca that's got like fucking bone armor and shit oh i can't wait if oh i've I've, uh, again the the fourth time i've restarted it fucking love that game so much but yeah sorry no dlc out in august (laughs) (laughs) End, end of august there you go people DLC. Got from Lucifer and Supernatural all the way to Manon. Um, yes. Um, looking forward. We'll get information soon. It just says shortly. Description about this picture will come soon. So. Who released the picture? Was it like um, the uh, CW's website or Instagram or? Sadly, I'm following the Lucifer Netflix fucking Instagram oh, site. Well, right, because how does that work then? Because Lucifer now has nothing to do with the CW. Netflix purely own it, don't they? Mm. So they would have to be willing to do business with Warner Brothers and CW. Possibly, yeah. I bet, yeah, I bet you they're a bit good because you said the show is really big and popular and Netflix might be doing mint off it. They'll be like, wow, fuck, why did we cancel that? Fucking. But. Hey, yo. Crossover by the looks of it. I said, I it said Ayo, not Aussie. So I said I only looked up like, yes. Mm. When was your name Ayo? Has it ever been Ayo? I look at him, he's like, maybe. Maybe you are going to be called Ayo. Come on, my gorgeous little boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, scratch me tat, and that's just been done. That was very so, pal. You chew me from, you do that, pal. I'm going to go bite my mum. I'm just going to batter her. Just going to batter her. I'm only holding your paw like that because I don't want you to scratch my title again because that didn't feel very nice. Not that you did it there. Come that side, that's fine. Oh, he did it again. Oh, he did it again. <laughs> no, he's all right, mate. It was an accident. I don't care. Puppies can do any accidents they want. I right. don't mind. Okay. Uh, John Wick. John Wick. As we discussed, we were getting a TV series, Constantine. Yes. Yes. Well... But still, kind of are. Yeah, because um, thing he was working on, wasn't he? Um, um, I know exactly what you're about to say. Um, that man, um, Mark Bernard, and he was the one that originally wrote the the, the wrote the thingy for the John Wick series, mm. uh, and now they're changing it to a three part, uh, kind of esque films, hour longs or whatever they are. Yeah, a limited, um, weird. Yeah. Kind of a series slash film. Yeah, thing. three parts. Uh, yeah. But he says, from what he can tell, it's still pretty much based on his original script. Yeah. But they've just trimmed a bit of the fat down. Yeah. That's basically it. Yeah, it was because they spoke about it at the last podcast, I think. Because I didn't know at the time it was Mark Bernard that was writing it. Who was that? Yeah. And then I was like, oh, so that was you. So there we go. Well, there we go, people. That one. Have you started their um, Kevin, his and Kevin's um, thingy? Um, he man. No, not yet. It's he man, isn't it? I haven't started it yet. Like, he won't just. I think there's like six episodes up. I'll be giving it a watch, like, just because it's done by them. Yeah, I will at some point. Good lad, yeah. Good lad. Moving on then. <laughs> <laughs> Twain. Twain, the Rock, your answer. Yes. Um, him and Vin have had another hoo-ha. Another hoo-ha? Yep. Yeah. And then Dwayne is just right, right, that's it. And pull it out. So, that's him no longer going Fast and Furious. Right. Him, it's not going to be past, if anything, anything to do with Fast and Furious franchise. Right. Not even Hobbs and Shaw? Well, this is what I was thinking. Possibly not. I don't know yet. Because even though... Right. In the Fast and Furious franchise, yeah. obviously Hobbs got brought in, as we know. Yeah. Then we got Hobbs and Shaw, yeah. which Hobbs and Shaw was technically Dwayne's and Jason's idea. Yeah. So but it was still directed it by, what's his name, wasn't it? The guy that directs the Fast and Furious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what the crack is, because technically, by on paper, Hobbs is part of... Well, yeah, who owns it? Univer- Universal, isn't it? Mm. So it's all Universal stuff. Like, Dwayne and that, because they were producers and shit. Yeah, they, they could have put the money and whatnot, but they are under... It's like taking fucking Iron Man all of a sudden out of 
the Avengers and RDJ and Chris Evans falling out. Yeah. Being like, I'm not doing anything part with that again. They're still under the same banner, we're still the same universe. And as we can clearly see, Jason Statham's still going to have a role to play in. I don't know if that cutscene meant Fast and Furious or that cutscene meant Hobbs and Shaw, but he's Looking still got it, to play. Han's going to be the next Hobbs and Shaw. Or maybe they're going to change to Han and Hobbs. Which one's Shaw which one's Shaw again? Shaw's the... Uh, Jason Statham. Yeah. yeah, so maybe it's Shaw and Han. Han and Shaw. Just, just, I'll tell you what to do. Get that flight attendant, Kevin... Get that flight attendant. Flight Marshal, Kevin Smith and Ryan Reynolds, and I'll have that comedy. Why, why haven't we had that comedy Well, no, yet? but we need Hobbs in it, because we need to know what's, what the crack is at the end of Hobbs and Shaw. Well, just say he was with his daughter, remember, because they were talking, and he says, what does he say about Game of Thrones? He's just watching Game of Thrones with his daughter. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how you work your way around it. To be honest, as far as I can tell, Vin's got nothing to do with that franchise. Well, not that franchise, that part of the franchise. So I Best guess, I would say they just carry on going their own separate ways. Hopefully, they will. Hopefully, we will get to see some more Hobbs. Because I like Hobbs. No, I do, yeah. As a character, yeah, it's fine. Hmm. I like Hobbs. So, yeah, but he's... he's Throwing the towel in for Fast and Furious. You know, we won't see him anymore. Why Fast and Furious. Again, because obviously originally fell out. Because yeah, Finn put some on on Twitter or something, and <clears throat> so it was something to do with Dwayne and I don't fucking know. I feel like The Rock's probably the hardest man in the world to fall out with. Because they're both big headed. That's what it is. And they they both want to be the main muscle man. Yeah, it was like right. Um, to be fair, I... Because obviously Vin started directing, helping directing, and yeah. Vin directed most of them from like the fourth film. Yeah. And so it was Vin that brought him in and Vin was like, right, we'll give you this character, we'll give you this. Obviously, you're not going to be as good as me, blah, 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 but we'll give you this. And Vin, and obviously, Dwayne being Dwayne is like, well, no, I bet I can knock you down. I need to, to be the hero. So it's just two big, bald headed bastards just fucking headbutting each other. And then going <laughs> dicks each other. That's why I, I give credit to John Cena because he's a big honcho, you know, I'm a big muscly guy, but... He looked like he was willing to do whatever the character was supposed to do, and then yeah, that's why I gave him credit for it. I understand The Rock's got a um, some sort of a role to fill inside of Hollywood. Like he, he's we nine times out of ten, pretty much we see him coming out on top as the big bad. That's why it's weird when the, him being Black Adam, Black Adam, no, mostly being known as a villain, but I think DC gonna make him an anti-hero if him and Shazam were to fight. To me, in my eyes, it would be weird if Black Adam eventually wins the whole thing because I'd be like, well, hang on a sec. Yeah, but I can understand where other people are coming from. He, he can't always come out. No, on yeah, top. he can't come out. Just and because he is who he is, yeah, he can't yeah. always come out. He's top. been invited to a franchise, yeah. a massive <clears throat> million dollar, fucking millions of dollars making franchise. He should just do the role. If he needs to take a hide in, take a hide in, or. Hmm. So. Yeah, I guess we don't know every time. There might be more to it than that. Quite possibly. Um, fuck knows. But obviously, uh, John Cena's going to return. He's probably going to be the, the the next big muscle guy inside of the the thingies. He'll come back as a goodie. Yeah. Of course he's going to come back as a goodie. Yeah. Uh, they were on about it at work. One of the lads at work went and watched it every day and he said it was the biggest lot of shit I've ever seen in my life. He said he got well excited because um, the backstory is He's like, all right, nice one. Then he said it was just shit. And he said he, he said he, he literally felt like walking. I was like, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> I said I don't get wrong. I didn't think it was fucking anything outstanding. It was corny and shit. But I said to the Tyrese person, they gave themselves, give themselves credit because they, they took the piss out themselves. Tyrese mentioned the fact, how does this shit keep happening? How does this, you know, some reason we're lucky with this? Mm, yeah. I, I thought I said to him, I thought, hey, listen, it was a good popcorn film. But what left him thinking here? Yeah. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um. But yeah, we won't see him in 10 or 11. Uh, I'm not too sure, but the track is about Hobbs and Shaw yet. Hopefully we will. Well, 10 and 11 I... being the finish, we might not see Vin ever again after them. Hobbs and Shaw could go if they really wanted to. I'm sure they could make it like six films. So we've still, we still got a couple, well, hopefully we've still got some more Hobbs and Shaws, and we've got the source of the female spin-offs. Yeah. Which I think Vin will be directing. So I'm not asked about them. I would go, happily go see them. Not a problem, we'll go see them, but I'm not, I've... The, no offense to the females, I'm not invested in their characters at all. It was I. The reason why I got on with Fast and Furious was I like Brian and Vin together. Mm. Yeah. That's why I like them. And when they brought these other cat like Han, I loved Han. Thought it was cool. And then they brought in um, Ty, Tyrese and shit. I loved them. Ludacris, get go for it. 
But the, the apart from Letty, I don't mind. I find her a bit mad. Her voice does my head a little bit. She kind of feels like she needs some cough medicine. <laughs> Um, um, the, um, the, the tech girl, she just, Ramsey. yeah, it was a little bit annoying when she couldn't drive enough for her. It's a film about cars. You can't drive. Woo-hoo. She's a bit annoying. I don't mind Paul Walker's Mrs. Vince's yeah. sister. Yeah. I don't mind her. God, that sounds so sexy. It's got nothing to do with the sex. I can't get around their characters as much as I can Vin or whatever. Uh, all the females, I think Giselle was the better one. I like Giselle. Which one was she? Hans, Mrs. Uh, Gal Gadot. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, she was quite no, yeah, she was quite cool. Um, fuck me, watching her do a spin now where she's still alive. <laughs> she just walks in. <laughs> fuck it, no, yeah, I remember, yeah, because Gal Gadot hadn't really done much, and then she was in them, and yeah. then next thing you know, she's Wonder Woman. Yeah. Fuck, I completely forgot she was in them. Bless her. How did she die again? She fell off the airplane. No, she saved Han's life by shooting somebody, shooting somebody, and obviously they were on the airplane, and she ended up going backwards. <sighs> Number seven. Number seven. Number seven. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> right. We have a Barbara Gordon in the DC nice. Batgirl movie. Nice. And we're getting the, yeah, we're getting a Batgirl Girl movie, by the way. Awesome. And they've used a picture from the Arkham Knight DLC. Um, Leslie Grace. All right. No idea who she is. I will take two. Oh, I don't know who she is. That's a she great played story. in the Heights, whatever that is. The Heights. Batgirl uh, will be played by in the Heights actress. Whatever the hell the Heights. In the Heights is that not that show that's just coming out? All the singing and dancing and stuff. Quite possibly now you said that. I feel like it, I could be completely wrong here. For whatever reason, I feel like the, the song's like in the Heights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That that story's pure. I mean, because eventually Batgirl goes on to be in a wheelchair and stuff. That's because the Joker shot her in the back and she goes on to be Batman's Oracle, you know, where she's like, okay, Bruce, I'm detecting five mm. incoming, you know, thingies. Yeah. And she becomes the Oracle. It's fucking the mint. Oracle. I don't know if they'll go that route, but yeah, that's awesome. We'll see her relationship with her dad. Obviously, her dad being commissioner. Mint. Mint. Take back girl any day of the week. Um, because I was so... I have fucking lost with the timelines now. So... She'll be. What time will she be in? <laughs> what, when she, what, what, what part of the DC? Yeah. In? <laughs> well, if it's just Batgirl, there's a there's a chance she could be introduced into Robert Pattinson's, and they might just be doing loads of bat stuff. Uh, um, that makes more sense because Ben's sticking to the Snyderverse, isn't he? Yeah. With uh, the rest of them. But there's a chance. So... Obviously, there's going to be a part of the Snyderverse. With the Flash doing his shenanigans where there's a world, because we're getting the Supergirl film, aren't we? Yeah. And, and in that part of the world, the, the Earth, we, instead of having Kal-El, Superman, it was a girl that crashed and it was Supergirl. So yeah. that world's always, their Superman has always been Supergirl. They're, they're doing that part inside of the Snyderverse because of the, the Flash shenanigans. They could easily do the same. Maybe instead of Batman this whole time, we always had a Batgirl. Makes sense. Yeah, they might do that, but to me personally, I would introduce her into Robert Pattinson's and have the Bat family. Yeah. But Robert Pattinson's quite young in this, isn't he? Mm. It's the early days of Batman, and the, the the Bat family get introduced a little bit further down the road. But uh, yeah, fuck knows. We'll see what happens. Yeah. It might even be one of fucking um, what the fuck's his name? Star Wars um, um, glasses. Um, do, oh, it does all the Cloverfield films. Bad robot. You know exactly who I mean. Do I? Yeah. Um, not fucking. He's just, he's got a job over at DC now, hasn't he? And he's doing stuff with the DC stuff. <sighs> JJ. JJ Abrams. JJ Abrams. Yeah. It, it could be it's something he's tackling, and that'd be Possibly. fine. We'll have to wait and see. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard because no when we get Shang Chi, okay, yeah, MCU. We're gonna get Spider, yeah, MCU. Doc Shay, yeah, MCU. We need to get DC film announced. You're like, where do you fit in there? Mm. Where are you a part of? Yeah. Fucking okay, man, did you see all the um, the images of like the Batmobile, the Batcave, and that get released for the Flash stuff? No. Oh, it looks. Oh my god. Having the fact that we've got Michael Keaton back, amazing. Mm. Moving on. But the Batman this time. Batman. Oh, Robert Pattinson Batman. No, Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck Batman. Just a 
picture on tweet. Uh, a, 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 a picture, picture on tweet. A picture on tweet. A picture that got tweeted uh, with Ben Affleck. Twenty twenty three HBO Max Snyderverse. That's all we got. Nice. So we know that's a film or a show because you said age ago there's rumours of a show. It's gonna be a TV show. Nice. A lot of people have said as well, why have we ever had a proper Batman show? We've had Batman-related shows. I'd be well up for a Batman show. I think this will be it. And I'm down for it because he's still my favourite Batman at the minute. And he hasn't really been able to showcase his Batman skills properly. Okay, we got glimpses of BVS and Justice League and then redoing Justice League, but just to have him yeah. on his own... Because obviously, like, the, remember the, at the end of Batman v Superman when he goes to save Martha, Superman's mum, yeah. and he go, comes up through the roof, and he fucking, I was like, oh, goosebumps, that was mint. But seeing the girls, like, he was saving, they're going, shh, it's here. And you're like, that's the fucking hero? <laughs> and they're going, shh, it's here. I'm like, I want to explore more of this man, a rugged Batman who's fought all of his villains, the Joker and whatnot, he's got the scars, he's feeling it. Yeah. I want to see way more of this Batman. I, I'm curious about Robert Pattinson, the early days of Batman, go for it, awesome. But I am ready for um, Yes. A Ben Affleck yes. Batman show. We need a dark Batman. Mm-hmm. So fucking tired. <laughs> That's what I mean. We got glimpses of it in BVS mm-hmm. and uh, Justice League and whatnot. I, I would take more Batman in that alternate universe where um, it was all deserty and he was teamed up with Joker and stuff. I would happily take because you know he had Deathstroke on his team. Yeah. And that I mean, if we're gonna stick to the the Snyderverse, then I think we will get to see more. Yeah. Hopefully. It was weird when he quit. I was like, you've only played him. Well, yes, he was in the Su- uh, sorry, Suicide Squad, but just for a little bit. That's fucking mad. I can't wait. Cinema next Friday, me and you. Suicide Squad, well, because B can't come because she's doing something with a car. Tires getting fit. So it's just me and you. Um, for the, the Idris album. Just what? Something to do with getting the tires sorted on a car. Nine o'clock at night. No, but she's going to be away in her um, in neck the of the woods. woods. Oh, hey. Okay. Jinx, I can't say Jinx Padlock because I need you to talk, so I'm Jinx. Um, Chris, I need to say your name. I was going to say, yeah, to see Andrew Shalva because I keep watching the trailer like he was in because he put Superman in hospital for hitting him with a kryptonite bullet. I'm like, oh, fucking beast. I can't wait for this Peacemaker show. I can't wait for John Cena as well. Obviously, you've seen the crap, he's back. Yeah. Uh, he come back at the end of May, he was mint the money because I'm just sat there on the phone watching. Like, oh, I remember, well, that was a good match. You beat Ed, Chef Rollins come down with shenanigans. Roman Reigns is giving that acknowledgement. I'm like, right, better get to bed. I'm like, oh shit, I'm in the water. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, because there was rumours of him coming back. Sorry, Ozzy. There was rumours of him coming back. Yeah, I'm like, and then he, he, uh, he comes back, and I'm like, what the fuck? And then he comes back on Raw, and he's like, uh, I'm, Roman, I'm going to be there on um, Friday. He cut a mint promo about uh, shit. He's like, why have I come back? Okay, let's do the when, what, why, blah, blah, blah. And at the end of it, he goes, but why have I really come back? Because Roman Reigns is an asshole. And I was like, don't get us wrong, I, I'm pretty sure Roman Reigns should. I, I, I would like him to keep his Universal Championship until WrestleMania because the rumour is he's going to fight The Rock. But to have John Cena and Roman Reigns do this epic feud. But last night, SmackDown, Roman turned John Cena down. I think it's storyline purposes. Uh, and Finn Balor has made a return. And he's going to challenge Finn Balor. I don't know when or what. Mint. Mint. I'm loving it at the minute. Like mm-hmm. I, I love Roman Reigns as a fucking bad guy. Because I loved him as a good guy. He was great. He was fantastic. I love Spears. I love Superman punches. But to see him come down now with his... I mean, Paul Heyman does add a bit of stuff. But with his title and that, he's just like, acknowledge me. It's like, this is what I do. And I'm like, yeah, you're a bit of a G, aren't you? It's fucking been like... But anyway, sorry, yeah, carry on. Have you seen pictures of Brock Lesnar now? He looks fucking yeah, weird. Yeah, have you seen his hair? <laughs> a, I've seen a video of him, he was in fucking doing in, butchers. In a butchers, yeah, he's in a butchers, and the guy's <laughs> doing that. He's like, I thought I had big, that only Brock is like, ha-ha, and he's just like carving meat with his man bun. Like, <laughs> he's the only man that I would never say, you know, use your man bun, you'd be like, fuck me, you look like a bit of a weirdo. Um, he's the only man I'd be like, yeah, no, you, you rock it, mate, don't worry. You, oh, epic, <laughs> look great. <laughs> I know. It's fucking nuts. My mum said she's like, he actually kind of pulls it off. And in a weird way, it's like, yeah, I, I kind of don't hate it. But we're just used to that sort of dead army yeah. looking fucking haircut. <laughs> it's a weird choice for him to go for, like, isn't it? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So yeah, that's been Affleck. Possibly 2023 HBO Max TV series coming. Lovely jubilee. Lovely jubilee. Okay, Space Jam. As we know. The new one's out. Space Jam. Oh, coming out. It's out. It's out. It is out. The one. Dwayne in the third one. Okay. Wait, what? He's not a sports guy. Well, he did play American football for a little bit. 
Look, if they could go down the wrestling room. <sighs> that'll be mint. That, imagine that Looney Tunes and like doing it and it's all to like, I know you see the Royal Rumble of Taz getting chucked out and it's like uh, they have to try and get like the bugs in the main event of WrestleMania or whatever yeah. and like, you know, rocks against, I don't know, an evil alien and they're cheating and bugs come running in and it's an extreme rules. Oh, that'd be, I like that, Chris. Good, good, good thing there. Like, that would be the interesting Because like, obviously it's always centered around basketball because we had two films all centered around basketball. Yeah. We get it. Um, but yeah, what the, unless The Rock's just in it as, I mean, I guess they might have another LeBron James because I'm assuming they'll have a sequel in a couple of years and LeBron James might be still in it and The Rock's just helping out. Maybe. Because not remember the, um, the uh, Bill Murray being in the first one. Mm -hmm. He's just a comedian. Like, he was a basketball player, but he was on the, the team, wasn't he? Yeah. So why the fuck not? Why not? Why not? But, like I said, it's... We don't know when we'll get this film, so... As far as I'm aware, I've yeah. heard mixed things about the new one as well. What's the matter? No, you should kick me. Oh, right, fucking hell. Uh, yeah, mixed things about the new one. A lot of people say it's a bit... Uh, but I don't yeah. expect it to be anything major. I expect it to be a bit of a giggle. Mm. I haven't watched it yet, so... I will pump some white, maybe. We'll see. Mm. Move it up! The Wheel of Time. The Wheel of Time. It's a new Amazon original series. Right. Right. The Wheel of Time uh, follows Maureen. 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 A member of the Isis Saibi, uh, Sabia, whatever that is, um, a powerful all-female organization of magic users. Um, she takes a group of young people to a journey around the world. I believe one of them of can reincarnation of a dragon oh it's just a basically a fantasy mystical magical fantasy thing sci-fi adventure yes all right we're kidding what we've done for that so mm -hmm. yeah and the name's cute i like the name um again i think these are based on books ah boo -boo 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 books and we shall be seeing it on november this year that's quick well, a, a film or a show, did you say? A series. A series? Yes. On Amazon? On Amazon. I'll probably check that one out. The poster looks very Doctor Strange-esque to me. Ah, well, they are, I thought it was more like uh, Game of Thrones kind of crap. Ah, fucking hell. I decided to look into this as a crap was. Yeah, well, like I said, well, you're, you're kind of on the same boat as me, you know, fantasy, adventure mm. shenanigans. Yeah, fuck it. So, that was that one. Give it a whirly twirly. Give it a whirly twirly. You're right. Jackass, I've seen the trailer. Yes, of course, mate. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've rewatched it. Re oh my! The only it does look quite good, to be fair. It looks awesome. The only depressing thing is, I don't know if you want to get into it. We know we can't spoke it. Is the whole band thing because that's that was my favourite member. Mm. Um, but no, yeah, it looks it looks fucking awesome and amazing. I can't wait. I mean, I've got it tattooed for fuck's sake. Jackass and Dirty Sanchez were when I was kids. It was it was American Pies. It was the, the Jackasses. It was it was the Green Days and the Blinks. You know. Mate, skateboarding culture, you know, being mm. at the skate park down south and that, and oh, that's my life. And seeing the fourth one come up, oh, oh my god, so happy. It does so look interesting. Happy. And we've got a few more celebrity cameos as well, mm -hmm. which is quite good. Um, hits the is October 22nd. I'm so, I'm going to be there, mate. I'm going to be down. Let's fucking do it. And the best thing is, they'll probably release a 4.5 because they always release a point because they record so many stunts. They can't fit it on one film, so yeah. they always release a point, and then it's like basically a second film. Yeah. Of new stuff. Oh, it's so this good. is supposed to be the last one, isn't it? Yeah. Because they're all like in the fifty, well, towards the fifties now. Yeah, they're, so all, they're, getting, all, getting they're all getting on a bit. They're all getting on a bit. Like Johnny Knoxville again with the injuries that come out of this, he absolutely fucked himself up, which is no surprise because he always Johnny Knoxville always comes up with some really bad injuries, but he never does. Well, it's not that he never does. You would probably argue that his stunts aren't the most crazy, but he's willing to get slammed or whatever. Whereas Steve-O is the one that you think, <laughs> yes. I expect Steve-O to be dead by now. Yeah, even he said he should be dead by now. Yeah. The shit he's doing. Uh, his podcast is quite cool. But again, so sometimes, you know, why do I got to be Steve-O? It's like, jeez. Like, you wouldn't realise how mingling it because obviously he was a crackhead. All his jackass money went on crack. Like, did you see his house? 
And he had the skateboard no. ramp on the thingy and that, and uh, he made his own um, jacuzzi on the roof, and it all leaked into the neighbor's house, and the police kept coming every day, and he was that high, he had no idea. And uh, he had a proper bad neighbor uh, that kept calling the police, so he poked little, um, uh, stabbed holes through the wall and that, and he could sit and blow weed through it, or chuck him ease and shit, and he's just a fucking lunatic. And he, like I said, he, he, got, he, he was gonna let the police arrest him, and he's like, I'm so wasted. He let him arrest him, and he had loads of sniff on him and shit, and he got, he got arrested when he did his tour over here. I went to go see him, he got the Jackass Boys, uh, when they did a few, uh, him and Chris Pontius did their, the Wild Boys shenanigans. I went to go see a few of them on some of their tours and shit. He's just a fucking lunatic, man. But yeah, his house was a shit off. He was an absolute state. His, his Jackass money just went. He's like, he's all so good now, isn't he? He's settled there and all that shit. That's what I mean. That's what I the point. I was getting at, he looks so, I mean, his teeth are all fake and fucking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, he, but they look normal. He's sorted himself out. He's clean. Even so, Johnny makes a joke at the end of the film, isn't he? Like, yeah. You made a dog poop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's fucking <laughs> but yeah and how he got into it because obviously Jackass started it was the skateboarder magazine which I used to fucking read and then Bam had his CKY stuff Johnny Knoxville was a, a an actor who couldn't get a job they tried this weird experiment come together Steve was like can I be in your thing and they're like oh, what can you do because he was in the clown circus he drove up he was like we can't use any of this it's too disgusting and thingy he's like well just tell us what you do and I'll do it so I, I just want to get my name out there I'm not bothered what happens and then they fucking fell in love with him. Chris Pontius got involved because he's the only one that had a truck that could carry shit. Oh, I fucking, I know everything about the Jackass, but I fucking love him, man. So, yeah, I was very happy when this got announced. No, oh, well. And I was double happy when I saw a trailer. No, well. There we go, people. That's Jackass for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. Lovely. Right. Spider-Man. Kinda. Oh, was it? I was literally just joking. Just because the way he said right and looked at me, I thought kinda? it was just... Kinda, 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 kinda. Right. Okay. As we know, Spider-Man is coming out towards the end of the year. Yeah. Yes. Hawkeye is also coming out towards the end of the year. Oh, shit. Okay, yes. Yes. And didn't you say there was another series coming out at the end of this year? We were like, how are they going to do that? Miss Marvel. Yeah. yeah that's a mask, but carry on. That's not an issue. That's not an issue. Okay. As we kind of possibly know, yeah. that's... Um, y- Yelena, um, Spider Man, Doctor Strange, uh, Peter, uh, Hawkeye. Do you get me excited now? The Daredevil is going to appear in, in Spider Man. Yeah, Charlie Cox is Daredevil. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. It looks like we could be seeing somebody else, but not in Spider Man, in Hawkeye. Okay, right, 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 right. Um, somebody else from the Spider Man world? No. From the Netflix world? It's more, I think, of. Daredevil world. From the Daredevil world? Yeah. The Punisher? Uh, the Night Nurse? Um, fuck, what's her name? The, the Redhead? No. Try Kingpin. Kingpin? No! Yes. No! And, it's something else to get you all tingly. No! If these are coming out at the same time, there's a possibility that we're going to see a crossover and we'll see Kingpin in Spider-Man as well as Spider-Man in King in the in Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Plus we also we might see the both in each other's presence. Oh, well, I mean, if there was rumours to get Spider-Man in uh, Captain America in Winter Soldier, then fuck. Oh my God, mate. The fish from side. Oh, I love the Kingpin. He's awesome villain. That's amazing. So that's a lot of shit for Spider-Man to handle though. Still clear on his name. Multiverse shit happening. Um, what the fuck's going on? And then he's got to go help Hawkeye with whatever it is. Fuck. Shit. I'm down for this. And it's the same Kingpin from... Mm-hmm. Good, fuck, fuck for that. He was an outstanding Kingpin. He was amazing. Wilson Fisk. I thought, oh, I fell in love. I love that fight in the final season of Daredevil where they, you know, where they make Bullseye. But, like, he's absolutely battering the fuck out of Wilson Fisk. Like, Come on, hit me! And he's not even... Oh. Mint, well done for this shit. It's very interesting. It fucking is, mate. <laughs> Spider Man's a massive game changer, and then we have another massive game changer not that far away in Doctor Strange. <sighs> very interesting. That it works, says every time Doctor Strange involved, that's when I know I'm, right, I'm ready because shit's going down. Because <laughs> obviously, I've gotten to watch all the MCU, and he fell in love with it. He only watches the films, he doesn't care about anything else. He's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, hey, okay, Black Widow, whatever, I'm done with it. Okay, yeah, Captain America, I'm done with it. I want Doctor Strange because when you know shit's going to go down. It's fucking mint. Do you know, uh, have you seen the side by side shots somebody's done of um, One Division and Loki? 
of uh, you know the the um, he who remains, aka Carl. Mm. Um, you know, there's a moment where he's like, "It's happening." You know, he's at the desk talking to Loki and Sylvie. He's like, oh, "I fucking feel it." And it's always put a side by side shot of uh, Wanda becoming the Scarlet Witch. And, you know, becoming the Nexus uh, being and all yeah. the shenanigans. And they're playing it side by side. And that happens at the same time with their respective episodes. Which is kind of weird. Nice. So it's like he's kind of feeling like, oh, shit. I can feel it. It's it's happening being the Scarlet Witch. Yeah. It's, it's kind of mad-like. So yeah, it's keeping. Oh, I keep thinking I was. The Daredevils were amazing, like. I still need to watch, uh, catch up with them. I mean, I think, I think it was only, was it, is it three? Is it four or season? Is it four? I can't remember now. Obviously, there was uh, two Jessica Jones, one Defenders, one Iron Fist, two Punishers. There might have, there might well be four Daredevils, you know. I cannot remember for the life of me. I think you might be right. Because obviously, he started it all. Mm. I think he had two before they even had anyone else come in. Mm-hmm. I fucking love the Daredevils. Uh, he has four. Jessica had three. I said three? Mm-hmm. Did she? I'm yeah. sure she only had two. Oh, fuck no. So that, that, see, that was my least favourite. I liked it, but it was my least favourite. Mm. Uh, apart from the purple one played by David Tennant, I love that. Um, Iron Fist. He had two. He only had one? Yeah, one. Yeah. Sorry, we'll, we'll look at it later. Yeah, because yeah, we'll it, it he's got cancer, didn't he? Because it ends with he has both the power in his hands, and then we know. Oh, no, do we, did he have two? Who's he fighting the first one? It's been so long since the Netflix know. stuff. I know. We'll Google it all later. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's Kingpin, Hawkeye, Batman, no, Spider-Man, <laughs> <laughs> and Dead Oak. We'll probably all see them. Fucking, that's got a between. lot to pack into a film and that show. Mm-hmm. Because as far as we're at, Hawkeye's again, is only six episodes, isn't it? Yes. And obviously you've got to build off Hawkeye there the Yelena crack and you've got to build off the Kate Bishop defenders crack somewhere and then whatever you, they're doing with Hawkeye we still don't know if he's going to die or we still don't know if he's just going to sail off or we still don't know if what's going to happen mm. oh fuck there's a great partnership between Old Man Logan and Old Man Hawkeye in the comics and hopefully at some point they do that that'd be quite cool interesting moving on uh, Midnight in the Switch Grass Midnight in the Switch Grass. Yes. The fuck does any of that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, two FBI agents come uh, cross paths um, with Crawford, well, a, a California, no, a Florida <laughs> cop. <laughs> right, so two FBI agents cross paths with a Florida cop. A Florida cop. Who was investigating a string of murders that appears to be related when an undercover cop and then the sting the undercover cop's sting goes horribly wrong mm-hmm. Crawford soon finds himself in a twisted game of cat and mouse with the killer oh I like these kind of ones so it's basically Bruce Willis and Megan Fox ah that's the one I was thinking about you brought up something about Bruce Willis not long ago and I was on about is that the one with Megan Fox because I've seen a trailer for so it's that one Ah, because Megan Fox is a copper in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the one I was trying to... This is weeks ago we spoke about, so you probably won't remember. Um, yeah, she, she now goes out with Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly's a weird bastard. Oh, well. Uh, it's out yesterday. <laughs> oh, it's already out, is it? Yeah. Don't ever come be arsed with Bruce Willis. When his name's attached now, I feel it's it's got less stock. I've seen what's been going nuts. Remember the, the pig film with uh, John Travolta? John yes. Travolta. Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage. Apparently, it's not. It's, 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 it's doing very well. A lot yeah, of people love it. Yeah, a lot of people say it's amazing. It's not out in the UK at the minute. I'm sure you can maybe find it. I don't know straight to cinema if it's on a streaming site. It's free streaming site. I yeah. Uh, as for I, I, the thing I want to say, it's in cinema, but I don't know if it's cinema or streaming site. It's I think definitely. Free, I think they'll just go straight on the streaming site. All right, because well, it says there's no way to watch, but American audiences can enjoy, enjoy it in their local cinemas. That's mm-hmm. what the article said. Yeah. Um, which is fucking nuts. Because the film on paper it sounds shit, but I watched the trailer and I was like, huh. It's a fucking Jesse. Yeah. It's just him trying to find his uh, uh, pig. Tr- truffle pig. Yeah. Truffles. He's finding truffles, isn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. he was an old chef, wasn't he? Yeah. Fucking weird old world he lives in now. 
Ten out. Just looking first. So, and the other one was obviously Midnight in the Switch Cross. Midnight in the Switch Cross. Did you ever watch that murder one with Denzel Washington and Remy Malek in jail? That? that was fucking beautiful. I enjoyed that. Mate, what was the ending then? Did he or did he not? That's why I love the ending. That's why I thought it was so amazing because we don't know if he was the killer. We don't know if he killed anyone. He might have been innocent, just a weird bastard. Right. And then Denzel puts Remy Malek's mind to ease by giving him the bow and just pretending that he did it. That's why he sends him that envelope at the end, isn't it? Just to make Remy Malek go, oh, so I did actually murder a murderer. But still to this day, Denzel just did that to put his mind at rest. We don't know. I fucking loved it, mate. I absolutely <laughs> loved it. Gerard Butler, Gerard Butler, Gerard Leto was amazing. It Denzel was fantastic in it. Uh, Roman Malik was amazing in it. I fucking enjoyed that so much. Yeah, that is. I'm glad you watched it. Yeah, that did. Um, also, what I did watch was Underworld. Ah, uh, the Underworld film's good. Mm. Yes. And Kate has been talking. Kate Blanchett. Kind of shit. Yeah, it's Kate Blanchett, isn't it? Kate Beckinside. Kate Beckinside. Who's Kate Blanchett? I don't know. Probably Kate Beckinside, yeah. Probably another actress. She, oh, probably. Um, eventually, she has a. Uh, she might be appearing in the MCU. Oh, it was Blade. Yes. That would be quite cool. Oh, yeah, because it's, it's, it's Fox, is it not? Because as far as I'm aware, there's never been an Underworld comic. Don't quote us on that. If there is, I've never read it. The word when I do it ages ago, when Samuel uh, went there, Ben, what should we call him? Snipes. Where's the Snipes? Oh, yeah. that would be quite fun. The word when I do it then, but they said no to it. So. Because, oh yeah, because that would be the first ever time, again, don't quote us here, that a non-Marvel character has just randomly appeared. I don't want to get carried away with that. But I, I like this idea. I don't want to just because they own all these characters just chuck them in the MCU. Because mm. it's like, well, no, there's no real history around there. But I do like that partnership. That'd be a good one. Yeah, it fucking would be. Ben Wallace, I don't watch any of the world. I wonder, I, I, <laughs> yeah. I wonder what he'd do, though, because obviously Wesley, even though he was a vampire, he a daywalker, I wonder if he would try and kill her or if they would team up. Because even though she was a vampire, she was good. Yeah. There was far too much leather in them films, though. And it was yeah, too... Yeah, kids. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, everybody... Like, them houses and that. It was... It was, And there was far too much tones of blue. Everything was a really dark blue. The films were good. I enjoyed them. Um, but there was far too much of that blue. But I still enjoyed them. Oh, yes. Well, I'm up for seeing her in, in Blade. I am so. Doctor Strange. Yes. Strange. Um... Take this one with a pinch of salt because I'm not too sure. Um, we could be seeing um, after we could be seeing Hayley Atwell again. Okay. Okay, but not as Peggy as um, Captain Carter. Captain Carter. What in Doctor Strange? Yeah. While he's in the multiverse of madness, this is what I'm saying to you. We've got to be careful with this what if show, you know, because they might extract her from that. The, this weird what if animated world and when then when she gets extracted to our multiverse they turn live action um, um i'm fucking well up for that hey atwell is amazing she's so fucking cool it says here an alternative reality version of peggy carter will be making an appearance in doctor strange the multiverse of madness well he said it's the multiverse of madness he can pluck Captain carter. anything out of anywhere Captain quite carter. literally hence why if it happens multiple spider-men and and whatnot. It's still kind of weird how we're getting Spider-Man first. Unless the, the multiverse stuff in Spider-Man's film, I know I said this months ago, I'm repeating myself here, they must do all the normal stuff in the Spider-Man film to, to tie up all the loose ends, you know, yeah, it's the stereo also weird, shit and that. Like, it's also weird that Spider-Man kind of started Phase 4 off. It isn't, it isn't. Oh, no, no. Uh, no. Did he? No, he, he ended he, Phase he, 3. He, he, yeah. he should have started Phase 4. Yeah. 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 Because the Infinity Saga should have ended with Endgame, mm. and then Carol with Phase Four. He was the last film in in Endgame, uh, in Infinity Saga. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hopefully, well, not hopefully. I expect them to deal with the normal stuff that Spidey can deal with on his own through like the, the course of the two-hour-long film, and then 
cutscene stuff or maybe the last couple of minutes or in the last 20 yeah, we minutes. We don't have to just see Spider-Man in a Spider-Man film. We can see him in a TV series now, can't we? No, yeah, we can. But, but like I said, if for this to all happen at the start, it's, it, well, no, because they're never set to prove that he hangs around with Doctor Strange for all. I just think it's nuts how multiverse crack shenanigans is happening before the Doctor Strange multiverse stuff. Like, Spider-Man's got too much to deal with in this film. Dude. They'll have it fucking figured it out. You're, you're blind, just walk over the place. Just chill. But you know what? Oh, I'm happy you went to Spider Man. But just remember, right? You've got the stuff you've just added. You've got him clearing his name. You've got um, what, what's happening with uh, Vulture and all that carry on shenanigan. Um, or is there a Sinister Six coming? If they just chuck in two random Spider Men whilst he's clearing his name and trying to fight off potential new villains like Kingpin and stuff. It's like, Jesus Christ, the boy's only a fucking kid. Let him breathe. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be there jizzing everywhere because there's so much Spidey and Doctor Strange and whatnot goodness, but fucking hell. It'll all work out. 100% it will. 100%. Kevin, not Kevin. Yeah, Kevin. Um, he'll, he'll have all fucking... He will indeed. He will indeed. I like the fact that Sam Raimi, the lad who directed the first three Spider-Man, has directed Doctor Strange as well. I, I do like that. You'll have it written down on a piece of paper, all making sense. Right away, just leaving us all blue ball thinking, well, that's how I'm ready to blow our brains out. <laughs> but yeah, we might be seeing Captain Carter. Which I'm well up for. Oh, it's a big stretch. Big stretch. Big lad. <laughs> you little cutie, are you? Um, going back to HBO Max. HBO Max. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he slipped on the fucking uh, biggie. Um, Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, boy. Is developing a project. Mm -hmm. Black Superman. Well, yeah, we spoke about this a while ago, didn't we? Mm -hmm. He was going to be Black Superman, which Dog. I'm well up for. No, it's going to be a film or a TV series yet. Um. We're going to be concentrating on the character of Val Zord. Yes. Who's uh, Cal L's foster brother. Mm hmm. Um, a, a fallen kryptonite from Earth 2. So, there we go. Yeah, well up for it, mate. My, more Michael B. Jordan. I'm sure he'll make me love Superman a little bit more. Down. Down. Down, down. Yeah, any, anything Michael B. Jordan. Of course, we've still got him in, um, in, in the what if to come. We do. We have him in this. We do, we do. Yeah, Matt. Don't. Um, I'm, I'm guessing it's supposed to be an animated one. Animated one for you. Dragon Ball Z. Yes. 2022. Yeah. Dragon Ball film. Yes, I did also see the stuff on your stuff. I did see this on uh, my socials, a new Dragon Ball film. The 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 uh, they were still currently in Dragon Ball Super anyway at the minute, but the the the, the last one would Broly ended. Goku comes back because Goku's a fucking lunatic. He's like, oh, I had a fight with you. You were really strong. Our fight literally broke time and space. They went through different ultimate dimensions. It was mad. Their fight. Well, obviously, he, him and Vegeta for the thing anyway. So Goku comes back. He's like, yeah, I'm not here to fight with you now, but when you're ready. Uh, I spar with you, and you're like, you're a fucking lunatic, Goku. You're just an absolute fucking nutcase. So hopefully we get to see more Broly, because Broly's cool. This version of Broly, the other Broly's are all shit. Well, you like to say, you have to wait. So 2022, when you've been watching. It's not too far away, I guess. Yeah. I'll take more Dragon Ball any day of the week. And finally, we are getting a... Love it. Oh. <laughs> it's a long word that I can't pronounce. Oh. It's a long word that I can't pronounce. A. Try. Try it. I'll spell it. <laughs> yeah, spell it, spell it. P. P. S Y. Yeah. C H. Psychological. Yes. Psychological thriller. Yes. Psychological horror. Psychological horror. Oh, we're down for that. Yeah, psychological horror called The Wonder. Mm hmm. Starring Florence Pooh. Mm hmm. As in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wherever her name was. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've just said it at the start of the podcast. I know you did. 
<laughs> oh my fucking god, Yelena. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's basically she's they're gonna be an it's based in Ireland. Yeah. And there's a it's based on a novel. Right, I'll read it. I'll read it again. Oh, it's based on a novel. Based on a novel of the same name, The Wanderer. Tells a tale of an English nurse in the 19th century, an Irish Midland, who goes to a tiny village in Ireland to observe that new, to play about with medicine. Right. And blah, 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 a young girl who survived, who survived without food for months. Um, a tourist flock. Yeah. Oh right, right, right. Okay, right, right. Uh, right. Take two. Take two. Uh, as I said, a young woman goes to America, uh, America goes to uh, Ireland um, to play about with medicines and all that stuff. And she also comes across a young girl who's managed to survive without food for months. Uh, yeah. As tourists flock in to... Oh, so she's like a tra- an attraction over there. Mm-hmm. Like the girl who does not eat. Um, weird shit start happening. And just go from there. Should we stuff that's happening? So oh, okay. this film is it's to be set on Netflix, so obviously it's a Netflix thing. And it'd be out next year called The Wanderer. The Wanderer. Yeah, I'd like to see a bit more info on that. It's a bit hmm. Yeah, that's I I will get some more one uh Edgar Brandon came across it this morning. The Wanderer, uh uh so that is that. That's my scabby horrible toe, mate. You know what, that? I've been at work. Uh, and that is that what? The Wanderer. Uh, uh. Yes. Have you got anything to... Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, you said that was... I was waiting for the next story. You said that was the last one. <laughs> uh, not as far as I'm aware. Uh, Rick and Moy still going strong. Absolutely amazing. Love it. Um, what have I been re- What did I rewatch the other day? And uh, uh, I've know, said it many times. Read on American Pies. Fucking love redoing them. Uh, Road Trip. Redid Road Trip. Love that film. Um, blah, 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 blah. That's pretty much. No, oh, I've only got any new things that I've seen. Uh, ready for Marvel's What If to come out next, and then it'll be What If then Shang Chi, if that's correct, or What If might still be airing when Shang Chi's up. To be fair, actually, because it's episodic, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'd like if they give us What If and a Wanna because I can't imagine the episodes being that long. Right, uh, Resident Evil movie, uh, there's a uh, four episodes of the uh, animated on Netflix, on Netflix now. Are they doing that weekly, are they? Um, I don't know if they're doing weekly or not. I've just, I know there's four. Oh, so it might just be a four part thing. Day. I think it just might be a four part. Ah, okay. Uh, each one is 25 minutes long. Have you watched it? I've watched one episode the other day. Is that any good? It seems alright. Yeah? Yeah. So I'll watch the other three at some point. Uh, but the film, because it was still getting a film. Uh, yeah, which is not to do with... It's going to be out in December. But it's not to do with the... No, not to do with got, the, yeah. what we got. Um, the film is based on the games 1 and 2. Yeah. Um, we've got all our characters. We've got a thing. So we've got Kaya as Claire Redfield. Yeah. Kaya as in fucking her out of... Effie. Effie. Yeah, right, Effie. Yeah, but Effie. Um, obviously we've got Hannah, jo- Hannah John Carm, yeah. which is going to be Jill, that's Ghost, yeah. like most people in MC, in uh, MC. Uh, do, 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 do. and then we've got a couple of others that I'm not too sure on, but yeah. I always wondered why, like the Resident Evil room was weird as fuck, the films when you think about it. Are they all the older ones? Yeah, like, you know, like the Resident Evil games I play, like the better ones are where you're like in the creepy houses and like even the newer ones where it's the village and stuff. But the films took this mental route, didn't they, of just like being a badass. Yeah. I mean, I didn't mind the, the newer ones I wasn't a big fan of. I didn't mind the first two, possibly three. Yeah. The, but the other two, the last two were just fucking weird. Yeah, like her waking up in that fake city or like, yeah. whatever it's town and it... it it was not yes, how I remember the games. She clones of herself around, uh, just piled yeah. up, and I, next minute she was in Japan in this fucking weird... I don't know. Yeah, I want to see more of the creepers, like, the way that it's taking, you know, the weird, like... Like, the, the Resident Evil game where they're on the bed, and you get fed of that weird well, family. we are sticking to... 
the game route with these new, with this new film. And yeah. they are potentially want to make a couple of films. See, I'd watch the new fucked up disgusting ones. You know, where you, the game where you're in your bed and you have to keep getting yeah. out and find a bit to get out of the room and get back in bed and they're coming yeah. like, this wasn't there, they fucking eat you and that. Well, they are sticking to the original route with Resident Evil, the games, the new film, they are. Nothing to do with the. It's a complete reboot, I should say that. Yeah. Right. Like, to be fair, I don't mind this franchise being rebooted because it was. It was okay. on a whole. It was okay, but it definitely got worse for a lot of time. For for me, that is. Yes. It did indeed. Um, also, were a third Carnival Row season two could possibly be out the first quarter of next year. The first quarter. The first quarter. That's, that's very American. That's how they do their business terms, isn't it? You know how like our tax year is like April to April, whatever yeah. the fuck it is. They do it for quarterly. They do indeed. Um, Netflix Masters of the Universe that's Revelation it. is out yesterday. Masters of the Universe. Sorry, Kevin Smith's new thingy. Not fucking thingy. I mean, it is still hit him, but it's Masters of the Universe. Yeah. It came out yesterday. So that. I think that's in like six episodes or something like that as well. Um, I'm just quickly scroll and see what other crap is before I end it there. It doesn't look like I see anything. So, I think we can call it a wrap. Lovely job. Wow, we got a nice hour and ten there anyway. Uh, Chris, yeah, hour and ten, mate. We've still got more to do in Aussie. Ozzy's ready to fucking rock and roll, aren't you, Paul? He just wants more food, the fat shit. Mate, honestly, it's, it's your dog. I don't want to overfeed him, but he's like, welcome to as many of them gravy buns as he fucking wants. But obviously, because it was my dog, it'd be gravy, 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 gravy. But it's your dog. I don't want to thingy him. Um, oh, well, thank you very much, Chris. That was Canoes and News. Hopefully you enjoyed that visual. Back to a Sunday on the News and News until um, uh, what if stuff happens and we'll start doing a little weekly talk down, review breakdown, shenanigans of that. Even though I don't know if it's going to be much of a breakdown, it might just be a bit of fun. But we're going to talk all things what if as soon as that out. As soon as that out, as soon as that's out. As soon as it appears uh, that was screwed. So thank you very much, Chris. Uh, thank you very much, Ozzy. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you did a lot of helping and finding all of them stories as well. You uh, said most of it. Why did you? Fucking supposed to be working now. <laughs> uh, visuals, that was it. He gants for his walk. He's gone back in from work. He gants for his walk and then he sleeps and then I have to run and do tea, clean up and everything else. And you do fuck all sleeps. the sit in your ass. Sleeps. Asks for food all there, don't you? But brings joy and so much love to your life. So that is that. That is that. Are you going to eat this one straight away this time? Are you going to keep taking it in and out? Let's see what he does. Nice. I don't even want it. Yeah, is that three of them? Outside. Let's see what he does. Visuals will give you a stand back. Right, it's out of his mouth. It's in his mouth. It's out of his mouth. It's in his mouth. Oh, it's out of his mouth. He's playing with it. He is, he actually is playing with it. It's in his mouth. There's, there is a little bit of a chew there, I think. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> is it gone? No, it's just twirling it around his gob. Like, is it? Good on it. <laughs> is that actually what he's doing? Yeah. Oh, he has dropped it. <laughs> you are a mental little dog. Uh, visual slave, listen, rules, give me a doing, 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 give me a doing